Hello, this is World of War 2006. Just want to say, uh, started uh, venturing in some um, optics, so I'm getting my optics going now. Um, I got most of my iron sights and flip-up sights for most of my uh, guns that I've built. Got a few left, but I'm going to focus on op optics right now. Red dots, um, one to six power, uh, micro dots, all different kind of things. But I've noticed that they got these on sale at Primary Arms. I'm going to get a lot of Primary Arms uh, products just for the simple fact of because of lifetime warranty. And I believe most of them are still built with the factory where Vortex is built. So that's my other go-to optics are Vortex. So, um, yeah, so I got three of these right now. And uh, I got some more scopes and different stuff coming. These are all the red dot ones. I have uh, another one coming that's a little bit different. Same uh uh, how can I put it? Same type of uh, red dot, but different reticle coming. Um, that'll be in the review to come. But uh, as of right now, I'm very pleased with these. Um, you can see I got one right here on this uh, build. Uh, this is a really old build. You can uh, tell. I actually got some. Finally got some uh, squid grips coming for that. Can't wait for those to come in. But uh, yeah, then I got another one right here. on a pretty cool build too but I got another one right here excuse the mess on the desk but uh, yeah I really like them a lot we can uh if I can get it in there yeah right there it looks really like big on camera but it's not that's at a level nine I can actually tune it down some and you can actually see it's pretty pretty cold witness there it looks just really blurry on the camera I can literally get it higher than that. It goes all the way to 11. You can see how powerful it gets. And it has a couple night vision capabilities. You can see the uh, the knob there for the selector, or how can I say, uh, the clicks. Like it's very rough too to to make this thing move. They're they're all kind of like that. It's got an indicator on the side. Right here, a little dot what level you're on. But other than that, the mount's pretty cool. They come with a few different options for your mount. You can uh, see right here. They got a, a low base, uh, for, like low base for center line. Then they have the uh, standard riser. And then it also shows the height level there. So it might depend on your rifle and how you want it against your uh, cheek and stock and looking down. This is called the MD-25, if I didn't say that the optic is. Um, it has, uh, I believe, uh, let's see, I'll just kind of get a close up so we can look at this right here instead of looking at the other stuff. Uh, it has the aperture is 25 millimeters. I believe that's how they 25 millimeters. Normally they would be they'd probably say 30, but they're not 30. They're 25. Um, height is three inches tall, so it's about three inches. Weight is 6.5 ounces, which ain't too bad. Which may change with the uh, mount that you pick. I think that's just the optic alone. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Daytime visible, obviously, and it, the battery life, depending on um, what level you have it on, is between twelve and fifty thousand hours. Um, so I can say on the, the price range <coughs> um, really depends on if you get it on sale or not. Um, I got a couple of them for I want to say like right over a hundred, and then maybe one at like one twenty nine. The ACSS reticle ones a little bit more. But if you catch that on a deal too, like, they'll do open boxes, which I don't understand why uh, Primary Arms does open boxes. Because I'll admit, these do come from China. So if that's not your thing, then that's not your thing. But it's lifetime warranty, like all their optics are. Um, but they're all open box. And why do I say that? The reason I say that is I've bought multiple, um, how can I put it, boxes from them now. And they're all opened. And they all got the batteries inside. So I have a feeling when they ship these to, from China... They do a quality inspection in Texas. They put the batteries in, overlook everything, turn them on, and then stick them in the boxes. So when they say open box, I don't know if that means a return or what. I'm just saying because they're all open. So don't be scared to get an open box because the warranty is still good. And then if you got a blim or something, I, I've bought a blim scope too. And I didn't really notice any blims on it. Like maybe it has something with like the finish wasn't quite right or what it was. But um, yeah, they... They're totally good with the blims too. I haven't noticed anything. The warranty, like I said, if anything's wrong with it and it's an open box, the warranty's still good. So you can send it right back to them and get your scope or maybe an upgrade. Like if you say, oh, I'd rather do this one instead. I don't know how they do that. 
but you're not out of the water completely if uh, something's wrong with it. So I would really suggest open box. You can get quite a pretty good deal. That's the only way I can really afford a lot of these dots. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, those garbage are cheap. But they're really not cheap if you look at them at the overall end, you know. They're, they're probably around 150 to $200 depending on, you know, taxes and shipping and all that. For me to mass buy any kind of dots, they have to be pretty much a lifetime warranty and a reasonable price, you know. I can't, like, mass buy a bunch of EOTEX or, you know, stuff like that. But I'm willing to buy, you know, a few of these and then a few uh, maybe Sparks and some other uh, optics on the way. And then uh, we'll see what we can get from there. But I really do like Primary Arms. So uh, check that them out. they got all kinds of stuff. Well, uh, this is Lord of War 2006. And uh, you guys have a nice day. I'll make it short and sweet. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. Check down below to make sure you are subscribed. And uh, see you later.